tree with purling. Go to steel, then select the beam, go to the properties of beam, make it here purling. Then go to the profile, profile catalog. Here we need to select, you can select this cold road profile. In that you will get it Z profile like this Z profile you will get it or you can select here also you will get it Z profile which profile you want you can select depends on your requirement now I select here this one double click this one you will get it here like this you can change the size which one you want I just change here 300 other all the thing keep as it is then simply enter here it is placed then make it here part number I just make it here PU and assembly also I just make it here PU or you can make it this is Z profile so you can make it Z other all the thing keep as it is if you want you can change the material also depends on your project standard you can make material everything and here it is then click the first point then click the next point here it is placed now go to the grid A press control tab it will go to the next view already we opened so you can see here select this one now go to the rotation I just make it here 90 then enter here it is created then right click move click this point then I just place it here Next, select this one, then just make it here 5, enter. So now it is rotated 5 degree. Select this one and go to the move command. Just click anywhere and place it like this. I just given 10 mm above, I given 10 mm place. So we need 10 mm gap. So select this one, move command, click here anywhere else and place it here like this. I just make it here 50 then enter 50 is very low so select this one again just go to move command click this point and place it make it 100 mm make it 100 mm so it is clear so this area i just need to clear so i just clear this one now we need to place i just select this one and i change the color like this select this one and change the class then enter here it is placed now we need to place this one we need to arrange here this one so select this one before that we go we need to go to the 3d view just make it like this then go to the view and work plane select this work plane tool now i just place it here like this so now our work plane is fixed like that now select this one right click copy special linear make it this one 1300 make it here 7 and simply copy now you can see exactly placed like this now just click outside select this one and copy click this point and place it like this only one quantity now select this one just we need to increase this side only here you can see yellow point that is start point here it is yellow point it is start point I just make it here minus 500 then enter so now you can see here this one extend so like that all the things you can press control and you can select all the things we need to go to the yellow point here it is select this one minus 500 then enter now you can see everything placed like this now select this one just go to the copy here it is placed but this one we don't want to make like that so just keep as it is now we need to place other all the things so select this all the things press control and select all you can select like this also you can select now go to the grid view then go to the work plane select here parallel to v plane now i just click here right click copy special or you can make it copy special mirror 
click this midpoint then click this midpoint then copy don't expand now you can see everything is placed perfectly now we need to select these all the things go to the view make it like this press control and you can select these all the things and here it is selected all the purlins are selected now right click just close this one right click copy mirror click this point and click here then copy don't expand and here it is everything is placed perfectly now similar way we need to make this also you can see here for that we just need to create the connection then we need to create other all the things now we need to create this rafter and this parlin between connection we need to create for that go to application and component type here hold role overlap now you can see you will get it few connection in that this connection is very good i select this connection double click this one we can customize this connection we need it length 200 i just make it here 200 then go to the cleat in this cleat i just need to make it here which cleat you want you can go to the angle and i just make it here 150 150 into 10 which size you want you can make it as per your project stiffener i need it stiffener like this so i just make it here stiffener 10 thickness other all the thing keep as it is then go to the bolt bolt i just need to make it here and i just make like this and here also here no need to make any other changes just make it here 2 into 10 so other all the thing 2 into 100 then modify apply and click ok then select the rafter and select the parlin press the mouse center button within few seconds this connection will place now you can see the connection press ctrl r click this location you can see the connection then select double click this one go to the weld you have to check the weld all the weld we need to place it in shop weld only just make it everything in shop weld only already it is in shop weld if it is side weld you have to change that one now simply modify apply and ok and modify apply and click ok now we need to make this connection all the areas so just go to the edit then go to component create current connection select this one select this one press the mouse center button select this one so similarly you have to repeat the same within few seconds all the connections you can finish now this side all the connections we finished we need to continue and we need to finish this connection same connection we need to create here also for that select the rafter first select the parlin first word second one press the mouse center button here it is created the connection now just double click this one go to here we can change this gap you can change here now i just make it here six gap then modify here it is placed then apply and click ok modify apply and click ok then we can continue the same select this one just go to the component current connection select this one select this one select this one press the mouse center button here it is repeat the same within few second you can finish this connection repeat the same Just delete it and here it is then we need to make this the same connection other all the area also before that we have to select this one then go to view then view list we need to make it C grid select this C grid select the C grid now you can see it is selected here in the C grid now just go to work plane parallel to view plane now i just click here already parallel then right click copy special mirror click this midpoint click this midpoint then copy don't expand here it is placed perfectly 
then right click interrupt select this one press control and you have you can select like this press control and you can select like this now all the purlins are selected again right click copy special mirror click this point click this point then copy don't expand and here it is perfectly placed now if you go to the 3d view press control tab you can go to the 3d view now you can see the connections this all the connection is perfectly placed automatically this side all the connections are perfectly placed you can see the next side also you can see here this side also bolts everything is placed perfectly now right click interrupt then select this all the parlance so now all the parlance we selected in this area all the parlance are selected now we can copy this one and we can place it we need it for copy now we need to do one thing our x and y is here go to the work view then go to the work plane just go to the just go to work plane tool now i just place it like this now this is our x direction so now just close everything right click copy special linear x direction 10000 because in between this two grid gap is 10000 we need to copy four quantity so simply copy within few second all the parlance will copy like this you can see here it is copied and you will get it the connection also you will get it perfectly you don't want to make again connection now just right click interrupt we need to do one more things select here this one we need to extend this side so select this one select up to here then go to the properties this is this side you can see here magenta side make it here 500 then enter now you can see it is extended like this now select this one and up to this point we need to make it yellow side yellow color means starting side minus 500 then enter here it is placed similar way we need to make it other all the thing also now select this one here you can see here it is magenta select this one and up to here make it here 500 then enter then select this one press control and you can select together like this and go to the yellow side make it minus 500 here it is so like that if you select only you will get it like this now we need to create this connection you can select the connection double click this connection and apply and okay then go to the edit then go to component create current connection then select this one select this one press the mouse center button repeat the same all the area within few second we can finish now you can see this connection everything is finished perfectly but previously we plan to give a stiffener but it is not created with stiffener so just double click this one now go to the here everything you can check everything is perfect now you can see here we didn't made this prefix and all and we need to make it that prefix just make it this also and make it a material this all the things we need to make it initially that is perfect method just make it here angle and here it is plate then you can see here it is not created with stiffener so if you need to make stiffener if you go here and if you go down you will get it option like this and if you modify you will get it like this now you can select all the things you can make like this you can select all the things wherever we given this connection this connection will change wherever we given this connection automatically this connection will change now modify within few second everything all the connections will modify because it is little big connections uh, we used a lot of area we used to this connection small connection only 
but we used a lot of area so it will take few seconds so it is finished if you go to the all the connections you can see here it will create it with stiffener you can see everything is created with stiffener so once you made any mistakes you can simply select like this you can make modification but if you made any different types of same connection use and if you made any different in your connection you cannot update like this if it is same you can make an update like this so this is the way you can create parlin and its connection in tecla structure thank you so much